Well, hello everyone. Great to uh, to be with you again. Right, today I'm taking a day off and um, going for a sunset and a night shoot down on the south coast uh, of uh, uh, Dorset, in fact. Um, the other option I have tonight is to go to Kimmeridge Bay. And, um, and I've chosen tonight because, uh, firstly, the moon, um, which is about a half moon, will have set by about midnight, two minutes past midnight. Well, I'm hopeful that we will get some clear skies as well. Uh, there's some cloud kind of due to come in, maybe about half one, two o'clock, something like that. Uh, sadly the tide isn't quite right at Kimmeridge, which is a shame because one of the reasons I wanted to go and shoot at Kimmeridge and do a Milky Way shot there is because there's a great little um, feature geologically at Kimmeridge where these lines of rock come out straight out from the beach and, uh, and down into the sea and, uh, and they would make a really great foreground for a Milky Way shot but that's probably going to have to wait for another night. Uh, but nevertheless, um, either at Corfe uh, or uh, at Kimmeridge, I will use my uh, Nikon D700 uh, to take a time lapse uh, of the Milky Way. So lots to try out tonight, looking forward to that. And uh, I've got my whole bag of stuff together and uh, I'll catch up with you guys a little bit later when I'm down on site. Bye for now. Well, I'm here at Corfe Castle. It may be a bit windy, but I'll try and protect the microphone. Well, I've been trying to work out with my PhotoPills app whether or not I can get a shot of the castle uh, with, the, uh, with the Milky Way in anything like um, a decent position in relation to it. And uh, it does look like that's going to be pretty difficult. I can walk along up and around the shoulder of this hill to get it, but uh, as I do so, what happens is that the, the castle dips further and further below uh, the horizon, so it will stand out that much, that much less. And um, the other thing is that to get, uh, it would have been nice to get it with a bit of moonlight still on it before the moon was fully set, but at that point the um, Milky Way is much further over in this, uh, in this kind of direction and way out of frame. So uh, it's going to be tricky to do that. I think it's probably the wrong time of year to do this. So, um, so I don't think this is a shot for tonight. It's been worthwhile coming here because using the photo pills app, you can get a really good idea beforehand um, using their augmented reality uh, view um, as to what the night sky is going to look like at any particular point in time. And uh, it just appears to me that it's probably not the place to be. So um, I'm going to head on back down the hill, back to the car, uh, grab something to drink, and then I'll head off down towards the coast. See you in a minute. Well, good evening. I am now perched on a cliff top above Chapman's Pool, and uh, the weather isn't doing what it's supposed to be doing. That is a photographer's lot. It's really breezy up here, so I've put my shell on just to keep the wind off. And uh, I've just done a little bit of time lapse of these dramatic clouds in the sky as they skid across the sky above, and. Uh, they're not supposed to be here, but I thought I might as well take advantage of them as they are. And uh, it's looking quite cloudy on the horizon, and that means, well, it basically means I'm probably not going to get a decent sunset shoot. But uh, I have been scrabbling around trying to find the right shot for these conditions today and struggling a little bit. Um, I have decided that at sunset I'm going to go not back to Corfe Castle, but I'm going to a spot overlooking Corfe Castle from the southeast of it, uh, looking towards where the sun will set in the hope that we might get a break in the cloud sufficient for me to photograph uh, the castle uh, at golden hour. 
So, um, it also means that the star, sh star shoot may not be on. So these clouds, as I say, were meant to be clearing, but they're gathering instead of clearing. And so that doesn't bode well for doing astrophotography tonight. Uh, I'll have to decide after sunset whether or not I think the clouds are going to clear at all. And, uh, and if it looks like they are, then I'll stay. And if it looks like they aren't, then I'm going to shoot on back home. So I'll just stick around here for another few minutes and um, then I'll head on back towards Corfe. Well, here we go with a little bit of walk and talk as I make my way back to the car. It's a gorgeous little uh, path, this. Got some nice colours actually in the sky up there, look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Wow. That might just be worth a quick shot. Let's do that. Bit of a grab shot this, no filters and uh, no tripod. Let's just get the camera on. I'm going to underexpose by about two thirds of the oh, f8 is probably about the sweet spot for this. Pick a focus point, focus mode actually, and a drive mode, single shot, and focus as a spot focus, I think we want. There we go. Let's focus in the foreground. That took a bit of setting up. Stand off the path slightly, get a nice lead in line. Lots of beautiful blue sky up there. This is all about that fantastic colour in the sky. You never quite know what you're going to get when you come out. But, uh, but that does look rather gorgeous. So I think I've got time to go back and find a spot to take a picture of the with. see what happens. I think I've got a really nice time lapse there with this low cloud scudding across. That looked great actually. And, uh, I got a chance to try out my variable ND filter as well on this only RX10 Mark IV. And I use that again because I wanted to uh, uh, separate myself from the background as I spoke to camera. So uh, I haven't really used it for that purpose yet before. Again, it'll be interesting to see how that has come out. Anyway, off we go. Back to the car. Catch up with you again in a minute. Well, I have arrived um, well early. I thought I was going to... I thought time was going to be a bit more pressing. But anyway, I'm here in good time. Uh, but I will show you the scene. So, around to my left. Uh, where the sun is setting, it will sign, set behind the Purbeck Hills over there. And uh, I mean, it's a lovely scene, but there's always a but, isn't there? There's a lot of, it's quite hazy, there's a lot of atmosphere uh, today, a lot of atmospherics. And um, so we don't have a very clear view, unfortunately. I have a very direct view, but not a clear view of the castle uh, in between the gap in the hills there, in the Purbeck Hills. So um, we shall see. We may just get a really great sky though. Um, meantime, I will um, I will show you my setup. Why not? 
so uh, because of the way the sky is um, we've got this layer of cloud just above the horizon and then it gets brighter and then we go to this darker blue uh, up there and so I have had to mix my filters quite a lot here and I've got a polarizer a polarizer filter on the front uh, because I've been doing some wide shots I have therefore adjusted it so that it's not at its maximum strip maximum strength otherwise we'll end up with kind of dark blue on one side of the frame and light blue on the other uh, I've got my hard grad uh, which is point to a two-stop grad um, V filters grad uh, on the horizon because we've got a relatively straight horizon there from here and uh, also to cope with the fact that the sky gets uh, quite a lot brighter higher up I've also put a soft grad uh, two stop soft grad in as well so that does mean on the top part of the sky we've got four stops of light difference which is probably overdoing it a bit really but they are the only um, the only graduated filters that I have at the moment because uh, they cost a fortune uh, I'm in manual mode and uh, the last shot I took was at a fifteenth of a second on f7.1 and ISO 200 so I think what I'm going to do I'm just going to hang around here and we'll see what the light does um, so I've been dancing around too much uh, behind me I'm glad to say that these cows have all wandered off they were very interested in me to start with and um, just sort of all along the fence here I'd much rather cows are the other side of the fence than this side of the fence because uh, I don't get on the cows particularly well um, one or two little altercations with them so there we go um, goodbye cows and hello castle we are going to get some nice little moments I think tonight with this with this sky if, if some of these clouds stick around and the ones on the horizon to my left don't we just could get some nice colour so I think it's worth hanging about Well, there you have it. I'm afraid the sky stayed stubbornly miserable over there. So um, I'm going to pack up. I'll head back to the car and uh, decide whether or not I should be shooting on down to Kimmeridge or going home. Well, sadly, it has decided to cloud um, over, um, particularly on the horizon. Further out to sea, there's quite a bank of cloud, very really difficult to see on this. But it does mean that uh, I don't think it's worth sticking around all night, um, particularly as the, uh, the galactic centre will be right behind all of that cloud. So I'm going to head home and see what I can make of uh, the footage that I have taken and uh, the shots that I've got and um, put a little video together. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed my little adventure today, even if I didn't get everything done that I hoped that I would. In the meantime, thanks for watching. Uh, do like and subscribe and all that kind of thing. And I'll see you again next time. Bye for now. Thank you.